must save her. My daughter. How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Breath of the Wild for you guys today as always. Hope you're all having a fantastic day, wherever you guys might be. So, we are literally at the top of Eventide Island right now. I finished Eventide Island in the last video, and then I saw this guy. Let's talk to him. Yeah. Mimo. What are you doing all the way up here? Seeking adventure. You must be drawn to heights. You and I have that in common. It is only from here that I can properly hear the wind. I want to live as the wind does, free and unrestricted. To bide here and listen to its voice offers a taste of that freedom. Don't you long to be like the wind too? Um, sure. I think we will be fast friends. I've never felt such kinship with a Hylian before. Your style of wing is different than mine, but similar enough that I think you could undergo my training to become the wind. Wait, what? Ah. It lifts my spirit to hear of your keen interest. I require 20 rupees to set up a course for you to train. Absolutely. You should wait here while I prepare the course for you. Wait, we're getting into a mini game? I didn't even realize. Oh my goodness. This might be fun. Ah. That took longer than I expected, but apologies. But it's ready for you now to fly whenever you're ready. Oh my. That is quite the course. I recommend the route over there. It can be enjoyable to wa waft, waft along on a calm breeze. But the choice is ultimately yours. Whatever you decide, the wind will welcome you. Oh my goodness. For once, I'm not actually adding the music. Forget that course. We're going with this one, baby. Alright, we missed a couple. That's alright. That's alright. First try. Oh, this is cool. Oh no, I ran out of stamina! Oh my gosh, I wasn't paying attention. I will come collect you, flightless friend. What do you mean flightless? I just flew quite a, quite a ways. Alright, not bad for our first try. Let's try that again. 14. I appear to have overestimated your skill. Oh! Savage! Yeah, let's, let's practice it. Let's do it again. One more time. One more time. All right. Now, this time, I'm going to be paying attention to my stamina. Oh. All right. Let's try this one this time. Slow down. There we go. Beat our record. Alright, let's eat some stamina recovery real quick. All of these fill it completely. Alright. How did we miss that? All right, whatever. Oh my goodness, I can barely see. 
Easy! 32 that time. More than double. Alright, for sure, I, I should get a prize for that one, right? That was nearly a flawless run. You achieved 32 ranks? That's wonderful! Your score is unsurpassed, even by Wee Rito! Owned! Who overestimated who now, Mimo? You have truly become one with the wind, so I must insist that you accept this reward. Well, seeing as I spent 40 rupees, I only made 60. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Alright, well now I know we can, we can talk to that guy to do a little minigame. Man, look at the ocean. Whoa, it's even tide island too, guys. Maybe we can fly out there. Actually, that looks like you can fly out. Let's try it. I bet you there's something down there, guys, that looks within range. Suspiciously. I don't see anything else. Oh, yeah. This is a uh, little coral reef right there. We got some Finding Nemo. And a chest. I knew it. Give me something awesome. EX chest? No. Ten arrows. All right. And some fishies. All right. Let's, let's take care of the fishies here. A couple fishy over there. A couple fishy over here. You guys are stuck in a pond. I mean, that's, that's not my fault. Some mighty porgies, some armored porgies. All right, cool, cool. Now let's uh, let's warp back up to the top, tippity top of the uh, mountain up there, and see if we can uh, discover where the tower is in this area because we still have yet to discover the tower. And secondly, uh, I just want to see what's on the other side of this cliff because we didn't really explore that yet. By the way, guys, if you enjoyed this video or this series, please go ahead and drop a like. It helps the YouTube algorithm. I really appreciate it. Let's check over on this side. Ooh. That is really cool. Ooh, let's... Let's check this out first. What is this? My eggs. Sorry, bird. Some more bird eggs? Where's all the birds? Ooh, that's a big one. Uh, let's see. I don't really have anything to break it with. I don't want to use bombs. Oh, you gotta do what you gotta do. Wait, I'll use this one. Oh my goodness, so much money. And this blade is sharp. It'll just smash a rock like that. Oh, look at those... Those podium things. Let's go check that out. I do want to see what's on the end of that point, but I feel like I just want to get on my horse and, and ride that way. What is this? Paul Moray Ruins. I vaguely remember Zumbor doing this. Garini. Hmm. Ah. Sorry about that. I was in the zone. Do you need something? What are you doing? Ah. I was just examining this stone monument. This place has a very spiritual aura to it. Do you feel it? Yeah, it kind of does. It looks like a ruined temple or something. I recently realized that there is writing engraved on this stone monument. So now I'm trying to figure out what exactly is written here. Can I help? Ah, so you're curious type too. This stone monument was once much larger, but it broke apart during an earthquake a while back. Oh. If you really want to help, help me find the missing fragments. They'll be scattered all around. I think the fragments had the same kind of script carved into them. If you find a fragment, please draw a picture of it and bring it to me. Mm. Oh right, and the words on the stone monument glow with an eerie light at night. That should make them easier to find. Ah. One of them should be right around here. Please find that one first. Right, so we gotta take pictures. Ooh, more ore over here. How many fragments are there in total? He didn't even say. 
That would have been helpful. Money, money, money! Alright, so there's one around here, you say? Uh, maybe I should just sit until night so I can actually see the glowy... Glowy words a little easier. I don't... I don't see what he's talking about. Alright, well... Let's just make this a little easier on ourselves. And do this. And we're going to sit until night. Hmm. Questing, guys. We're adventuring for stone monuments. We're at night and it's raining. Now they should be glowing. Summon in Zamor for some reinforcements. And let's uh, look for the mine. I called my my horse and she just didn't want to come. Is Cookie dead or something? Like, I don't remember. Oh, man. Alright, well, let's look around for the stone monuments. This might take a while, so I might have to edit, but we'll see. That's a hearty radish. Nice. Is there one over here? There is! I found one, guys! Is this the one he was speaking of? Let's go, let's go talk to him. They don't really glow that much. It doesn't really help that much to be maybe because it's raining but hey. did you find one yes I did take a look there it is oh mm. hmm some of the fragments must still be missing well keep looking pulled them underwater oh man some of them might be in the in the water all right Oh no. Blood moon time, guys. Hmm. Let's look along the beach. Maybe we'll find one. Hardy blue shell snail. Very nice. Um, I'm not seeing any monuments, but I found a chest. Man, we are just not having a good day. I mean, I am having a good day, but the rainy, wet, like... I just wish it would stop raining. I guess it will soon. Hey, purple rupee. Yeah, I don't think there's one this way, guys, so... Wait a minute. Oh, that's a fish. <laughs> I thought it was one of the fragments. Do the fish respawn as well? Time to take a sip of coffee. The blood moon rises once again. Please be careful. <clears throat> Whatever you say, princess, but to be honest, I'll pretty much annihilate anyone that comes in front of me, so no need to worry. Uh, let, let's just continue down the other, the other way then. 
There's got to be one of the fragments like in the shallow water right here. I almost guarantee because he said they might be under the waves. And the water is a little bit shallow. I wish Cookie would come, but she doesn't want to. Ooh, another sh another hardy sh snail. Okay. Wolfling taking on the bats. Nice. Some crabs. Oh, I bet you there's one in those rocks up there. More ore as well. Palmore Ruins. Hey, I found one. It's right there in the rocks. Awesome. I was actually more coming over here to break these uh, barrels, but... Uh, Wolf Link, will you handle those guys for me while I take this picture, please? Got it. Thank you for the free loot. All right, let's go uh, show the picture to that guy. So I'm gonna guess that one of these things that he needs is at the very tip of that uh, sandbar, but we'll we'll see. Which means it's gonna be a long walk if I can't ride on Cookie. I wish Cookie would come back. It doesn't even say that she can't hear my call. She should be able to teleport, like. Why why can't Cookie teleport? All right, I found one. How about this, Garini? Hmm, hmm. Some of the fragments must still be missing. Well, keep looking. I wonder if the currents are strong enough to have carried a fragment all the way to Cape Crescia or Saka Point. Cape Crescia or Saka Point? Yeah, if only I had the map uncovered, I could actually know what those things are talking about. So, it sounds like there's two more fragments. That was the one that we just gave him. Okay. Man, we are getting rich. I'm not complaining about the ore we're finding. That's for sure. Ooh, that's a beetle. That is a rare two beetles. An electric one and something else. Ooh, a stamina recovery beetle. Nice. And a bladed rhino. That was a hardy lizard right there. I'm finding a lot of hardy uh, stuff. Pretty soon, I'm gonna go cooking. To be honest, I haven't really used... Ooh, that's a chest. And that's a lot of fish. I haven't really been using that many ingredients for how many I have, you know? I've been collecting ingredients like this, and also just from uh, the amiibos and just adventuring in general, so... Watch out, Wolf Link, you're gonna get hit. Alright. Another chest! Just an amber. Hey, look at that, guys. Found a shrine. Uh, but I'm already in the middle of a quest, so I don't really wanna... ...wanna do the shrine. Actually, there's another treasure chest right over there. Only a red rupee. 
some more fish in there, but I don't see any monuments. Ooh, that's a that's a Korok a Korok seed over here too. We're getting a, a lot of little progress. You gonna you gonna attack there, Wolf? Triple kill. He always barks before he attacks to warn me of danger. Ten out of ten. Perfect guys. Seventeen Koroks. Easy. I wish if you held down uh, B when you're in water that you would swim fast. Just like when you're holding down B on land, you run fast. Alright, so... Oh wow, I've never picked up one of those. I think it's safe to assume that one of the fragments is going to be down here at the end. Wolf versus bull. Link, what? Zumwar, get! What are you doing? Alright, whatever. Probably getting a drink of water or something in the ocean. That's salt water, you know. Man, I really can't summon Cookie, huh? Alright, boys, we're walking. Wait, wait. I guess I could warp up there and then fly down, but we're already pretty fast. Or pretty close. Hut, 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 hut. We got some enemies up ahead. Enemies ahead. Get him, boy. Oh, calm down. Mm, guess we're using uh, Thunderblade. Watch out, Wolf Link. Ooh, if I do it by the water, it's an even bigger explosion of lightning. You getting him? A boat or... Washed up treasure chest right here. Alright. Purple rupee. Let's keep on going. We're not quite to the tip. Wake up. The, uh, the Lizolfos items sell for the most. I mean, they sell for more than the Bokoblin and stuff, so. Alright, I really hope there's one over here, otherwise all this was for nothing. So far, I'm not seeing it. Okay, never mind, Korok. See, I guess it wasn't for nothing, but... 18, alright. Aha! Thank goodness. 
Alright. Wow, now we gotta walk all the way back. Yeah, I'm not walking all the way back. Uh, let's just go here and then fly back. <laughs> I wonder why Cookie won't come though. Is it just because I'm on the beach? Usually it'll say like, she, Cookie Cookie can't come right now or is unavailable right now. It's not even giving me a message. Like, Alright, from here, we can easily jump down. Is that more? More or? My goodness, we are getting rich. Uh, gotta do what you gotta do. Oh my goodness. Well guys, now you know where to come if you want to get gems. There's so many right under the shrine. Holy cow. Oh, you know what it was? It's because of the blood moon. It resets all the gem. So we got lucky there. Um, actually, I haven't been up here, but it's not exactly where I wanted to go. What is this? There's a bunch of ore right here, too. I got a feeling that's a stone talus. Which, if he wants to fight me, okay. Hold on, big boy. Please don't throw rocks at me. I'm just taking all of your loot, don't worry about it. He's throwing rocks. Okay, okay. How do you like this? This one's a little bit harder because the thing is on his back. Oh my gosh. Okay, what weapon should I be using? Mm. Yeah, not doing a lot of damage, but we're getting it. Ooh, found an amber too. I want to use the Knight's Claymore, but I'm saving it. Well, I might have to use the uh, Ancient Battle Axe plus plus or the spear. I mean, I just have really awesome weapons right now. Ouch! That hit me, you big bully. Then again, who's really the bully? I'm coming into his. Ooh, bet you that hurt. I'm coming into his, his little nesting area and just literally taking all of his loot. 
keep missing? Oh no, he's regenerating. That's not good. No! Stop regenerating! I can't even target him. Okay, he stopped regenerating. Oh, you didn't like that, did you? Oh my gosh, I keep missing. Ah, I tried to fake him out and he was not falling for it. No regenerating. Badly damaged. Okay. Okay, that was a waste. One more hit, one more hit. Got him. Well, we didn't find a monument piece, but uh, we found a lot of loot. I have pretty decent amount of gems here, 53 ambers. All right, well, unfortunately, the this is the end of the episode, but let's at least... Oh, there's a village over there. Let's at least turn in this uh, monument shard to the dude and he'll tell me probably where the other one is. And then we'll go get the last monument shard in the next episode, guys. How's that sound? If I can find where the dude is, I think he's up here. I remember getting this one. Would have been cool if the stone talus that was on the beach had like moss or like algae growing on him like barnacles and shells stuff like that made, made him a little more you know ocean themed but whatever so cool because they do have like lava talus ice talus stone why not you know ocean all right hey. this one was actually really hard to get so i hope you appreciate this that's amazing! He does. Ah. Excellent, thanks to you. I've got a good shot at deciphering the entire monument. Give me a second to see if I can put this all together. Oh, that was the last one. We did it! Uh -huh. Wow! Thanks to you, I've deciphered the entire passage. When the two find their place and kneel in reverence, the shrine will reveal itself. What? I'm gonna take a picture of that. Ah, mm. I have the foggy idea what that's supposed to mean. Kneel in place. Oh. Huh? Is that it? <gasps> He's gonna kneel with me! Oh, this is cool. I'm facing the wrong way. Dang it, Link! <laughs> oh, man! We did it, guys! I actually didn't think that we would do it this episode. Alright, we're gonna do the shrine. It's a little bit longer, but that's okay. I, got, I, can't, I can't end it without doing the shrine. It's probably just gonna be a blessing anyways. Yo! Fragmented monument! Complete! And you guys didn't think we were going to do a shrine in this video. Let's go. Alright. I, I mean, I, I hope it's a blessing. We'll, we'll find out. 
Even if it's not, I'm not ending the episode till I finish it. Quick thinking. It is not a blessing. Um. Alright, I'm gonna assume I need one of these. I have no idea, guys. I don't remember this. Alright, I see what we gotta do. Do I just have to do this on both both sides, or...? Seems pretty easy, actually. No, no, no. Set it down nicely, Link. No! Did I get it? It fell off! Are you kidding me? I must have done it too early one time. Alright, you know what? I don't even need you. You're not worthy. Alright, alright. This time, for real. This time, for real. I didn't realize the, the first one was actually going to shut a gate. I thought it was just those two. Alright, so I got to be for sure beyond this point. And then for sure beyond this point. Like so. Hey, we got the chest. Ooh, all right, another Knight's Claymore. And then let's go to the other side, which I guess is the real side. Ooh, this one's does look a little bit more tricksy. One thing that I keep forgetting to do is we actually do need to take a picture of a treasure chest. That's a terrible picture, but the reason is so that we can track a treasure like this. That way we can know if we got every chest in a shrine. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. I got the barrel. Let's do it. <laughs> Another chest. But, surprisingly, did not open the main shrine chamber. So, what's going on? What's in this chest? Oh, it's a key, duh. Alright. So, it was a little bit of a shrine, but not too hard. I'm not hearing the, the sensor go off, which means there's no more chests in the shrine, so we got it. Alright. At first I was worried, I was like, wait, this shrine ain't gonna take me like another 30 minutes to complete. <laughs> Guess we're having an hour episode early, guys. Now this one's actually ending up almost 40 minutes, so... A little bit of extra, but... It's all good. We got six spirit orbs! Two more, guys. Two more. We get two more heart containers. Or heart... Yeah. Heart containers. Woo, what an episode. A little bit longer than expected, but man, we did a lot, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is uh, really fun. I think next episode, we're going to go to that village, and there was also another shrine that we marked, which is probably... Let's see what he says now. Yo. So the two who needed to find their place were you and me. Makes sense. Good job figuring that one out. I sure never would have. Oh, it's you. The shrine's glowing today, too. You aren't just a normal lad, are you? 
I'm just happy that the mystery was solved. I don't want to do more snooping than is absolutely necessary. Okay. So now this this thing will beep every time there's a shrine, uh, treasure chest nearby. I think it's just finding the chest that, that's over there that we already got that one time. Alright guys, that's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please drop a like and be sure to subscribe for more Breath of the Wild content. As always, this is Lucian Sword. Take it easy guys.